Hey, my name is Austin Burke and I'm a cinematographer based in Central Florida. And today I want to talk to you about how I used this custom-made robotic arm to shoot this piece. So that piece was shot with the camera on a tripod the whole time not moving and all the movement you saw was actually from this custom built robot. And for the base of this project, I used the design of a Reddit user who I was talking with and basically modified it to fit my needs for more camera movements and control with Mantis motion control. As they had basically designed a program to set up moves, but I need something that worked a little bit more in my workflow for other rigs that I've built for tabletop work. So this robotic arm is built with six stepper motors, a few aluminum parts I made, and then most of it's actually 3D printed. Um, the 3D printing process was used with PETG or PETG. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it as before getting into this project, I didn't know how to 3D print. I didn't know how to wire. I didn't know code. I didn't know electronics. I didn't know aluminum milling. So it's been a fun project to really learn. And right now, um, it's still a work in progress. As you can see, there's some Wires ran through for future upgrades to add encoders. Um, but right now it's capable to actually hold up six pounds of weight roughly. And so I've gotten a small mirrorless camera on here before to move it around. For this shoot, we actually took the beer bottles, I, I mean beer cans, and we glued on a nut on the bottom of the beer can and basically made a custom coupler and screw attachment for the robotic arm that would just screw right onto and then we can control it and move the beer can around. For some of the shots, we used an empty beer can. Other ones, we used a um, full one and would crack it open and just pour. And that was basically the proof of concept that this whole piece was made for, just to show that this robotic arm is actually now working after a year of off and on progress. As I said, going into this, I had no idea what I was doing. It's been a slow learning process, and there's bound to be plenty of changes to come. I mean, right now you can see it's on this piece of just wood from like Home Depot. And right now it gets C-clamped down to the table. But a new design is probably gonna come where we're gonna take this and actually add a metal base that can be weighted down just so it's a little more sound and there's no vibrations going on. Like I said, it's all controlled through Mantis here, which is a motion control box used for both real time and stop motion animation. And what I like about this is the fact it's accurate up to like 600 frames so I can do high speed in the future. Um, it also has digital signal output, so I can trigger other rigs. It also has eight channels, so that leaves us with two more channels after this robotic arm. So we can program something up like this follow focus I've designed, or maybe a bottle pour. Um, the digital signals can go to a Arduino, and that can also trigger other rigs, like uh, these pneumatic cylinders, to basically launch products in the air. I mean, really, the possibilities are pretty limitless on what you can do with this. So all this is basically wired for each motor that then runs into a stepper control board that I've built. Again, another work in progress. Uh, eventually I wanna move it into a hard case. I'm just kind of playing around with the design first before I end up cutting open a Pelican and making a custom panel for it. It's gone through a few design phases so far and each one improves upon the other. The nice thing about this is all this knowledge I've taken here can be used for other rigs. I recently just built a pan tilt head that's being worked on and we used it on a shoot to basically do an overhead 360 degree nodal roll. I've also built a couple motorized dollies, a four foot and a 12 foot dolly. So now we can have basically the camera on a tripod and control those slides to do some fun creative movements that hopefully you'll see here soon. Speaking of which, if you wanna see those, like and subscribe as that's how I'm gonna kind of update this project as I go on and tell me what else you'd really like to see more behind the scenes of. This project really is to compete with those giant robotic arms. Or maybe compete's not the right word, but more of get that into my hands when I can't afford the rent, these you know expensive $100,000 rigs. Another nice thing is this is all controllable with an Xbox controller or another game like Con controller. And it, again, adds a lot of just real-time cool movements you can do. And I'm really excited to try this out for stop motion as well. But if you want to see more cool projects like this, let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Uh, maybe I'll do a behind the scenes on some of the more crazy rigs I'm building and more spec shoots to really push them to the limit and see what else we can really do with it. Oh yeah, if you liked the video, 
like and subscribe, you know, all that jazz. And leave a comment if you have any questions. I'd love to answer them. And if you didn't like the video, well, I'm not really sure what you're doing right now, watching a video you don't like.